Hey there guys, welcome back to another awesome video. Today's movie is going to be of Ghostbusters, The Frozen Empire. So Ghostbusters, The Frozen Empire is the fourth installment in the Ghostbusters franchise. And this is the sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife. As we have the Ghostbusters gang dealing with this, I guess this frost demon. Him unleashing this frozen tundra during the summer. So this movie is directed by, I think it's either Gil or Gal Keenan, and this is produced by Jason Reitman. And what's interesting is that both of them executive, executively produced or co-writed Ghostbusters Afterlife, and now Gal Keenan has stepped into the director's chair and Jason is being the producer in this one. And I also saw that this guy also did Monster House, which is interesting. And you know, a lot of people really aren't crazy about this sequel, but I actually like this more than people have said. Is it perfect? Well, let's talk about that. I love the family. I love the dynamic with Paul Rudd, Finn Wolfhard, McKenna Grace, the actress of the mother, the names escaping my brain at the moment, and I apologize for that. But I really like them a lot. They're great because they have that family dynamic going on and it feels natural, it feels like aware, but I really do feel like this is Dan Aykroyd's movie because there's this whole plot where Ray Stance is obviously back in the game and he's putting himself more in the field and, you, and he's arguing with Ernie Hudson, Winston's telling, telling Ray to enjoy his golden years, have like enjoy his retirement and, and do the things that he loves during his golden years and this is the prime to do that and Ray is already living that dream of he likes being out in the field and busting ghosts and inspecting the paranormal activity even at his old age and you know I kind of really loved that I kind of adored that and it felt like Dan Aykroyd really stood out in this one for me personally. I do like the special, I guess, guest appearances from Patton Oswalt to Kamel Mangiani. I really do love that we got to have Walter Peck come back and made sense. It felt smart. It felt kind of like very fitting with how much damage control Ghostbusters really needs to do. I like the villain Garak. I think he's a really cool. I know he's not Gozer and I can't recall if he really was fully fleshed out or if he was, but I really enjoyed him and everything else kind of seems fine. I will admit, I had a good time with this movie. However, there are some things I will acknowledge that don't make this movie really that perfect. And yes, I do like that we got to see the gang together, like the OG characters and the OG cast kind of team up with the new family, with Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and you have Bill Murray. And I do like Bill Murray, and I, I enjoyed him being here. I will admit, his screen presence isn't as strong as it was in Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is interesting but hey i do like that we got more of Aykroyd. there are some cliches that this movie does run into kind of like a lie reveal story at one point and then another thing that kind of happens they're not really that long lived they're very short but i kind of uh, in the moment i thought to myself okay do we really have to have this in we could have like maybe trimmed it down or something where we didn't have to really use these tropes i mean it's not like they really detriment the film entirely it's just just the kind of like I kind of shook my head a little bit and kind of shrugged a little when, when these moments happened. Some of the, the effects on the ghost characters, like this one ghost girl that McKenna Grace really has a thing for, it seems like. I, I wasn't sure if they were trying to do this intentionally or if the effects were just really that rough to see, but she, like, she comes off very like misty looking but also not so clear but also somewhat clear i don't know if that was like an effects issue that just looks bad or if they did that on purpose but some things like that just kind of were very iffy but overall i will still say that i'm going to give ghostbusters a frozen empire i'm gonna give it a b plus you know maybe that could be the nostalgia talking but honestly if that was a nostalgia talking i would have made this a higher grade so, Ghostbusters Afterlife, how have you guys seen it? What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please smash that button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to all videos every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring that bell to new videos every week. Share the video for any friends, all the good stuff, and more. Leave suggestions, comments, you name it. I'll look through it as best as possible. Look out for more stuff this month. 
plenty of their movie, movie views, also the videos going forward. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.